Well, what a way to start my day. And today, out and about adventure, we're here at Java House. I am so excited. It's one of the biggest brands in the East Africa. Or oh, let's say region, you know. But it's so exciting that it's finally opened in Kigali and we're here about to taste their coffee. How cool is that? Oh my God, I'm so excited. So stay tuned with us uh, as we go have coffee at Java House. Yeah, Rwanda. Java House Africa introduced coffee drinking and gourmet coffee culture to Kenya in 1999. As they grew, they created more spots around the region, but finally opened one in Kigali. Java House Africa is located in Kigali Heights. My target today is to taste their coffee and enjoy the environment. As I was enjoying the view, I was joined by a good friend of mine, and just like me, he had a mission. And his mission was to taste their food. So Lauren, tell us about yourself. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know where to start. I've been in Kigali about three, almost four years now. I'm from Chicago, from the States. Yeah. <laughs> and um, I do a lot of stuff. Like yeah. I'm like, I was thinking Kigali. So I run Eat Out, Rhonda, which is just getting started this year. All about food. So being in Java today, you know, a little work, a little food, yeah. most things I like. And um, I play the violin, so I'm a musician, and I also teach dance, ballet. Oh Lots of stuff! That's so cool, but yeah. being a foodie, I mean, because if you run eat out, you have to, have be, a to be a foodie. So, how did you find out about Java? Um, I don't remember. It's kind of like most things are in Kigali. Someone tells someone, there's a WhatsApp group, there's a picture, there's a something going on. And I think someone who was doing the training for Java in Kampala actually told me was the first time I started to hear. And then you could see like the building starting yeah. to go up. So I was just waiting, waiting to see when it was coming. I, me personally, I have a sweet tooth and I heard that Java has good cake. So I like all the foods, I like coffee, but I was like, tell me about this cake. Let me see if this is good cake or not. I mean, I hope it's the same in the quality because everyone loves Java. It had so much hype coming here, but I hope it's also a little bit different. Like it's Rhonda's own thing. And I find Rhonda's good at doing that. They have lots of places, but also its own kind of style. So hopefully it reflects that. Lately, I've been kind of obsessed with Poivre Noir. A little bit. Yeah, and yeah, it's in Kimi now. And I like Kimi Gourmand that's in Kimi Hura, the crepe place. Yeah. Because they have good ice cream, of course. I needed sweets, I wanted the ice cream, but it's super good. Uh, mm. <laughs> How long have you been in Rwanda? Uh, I've been living in Rwanda for about a year and seven months now. Okay, you've been here for seven years and seven months. Uh, One year and seven months. Did I say seven years? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> One year seven years. Uh, what is your favorite place so far so in Rwanda? And how's the experience so far? Um, it's great. So I'm a Peace Corps volunteer okay. uh, with the United States government. And so I live in Jichumbi District yeah. uh, at a site called Kigogo. And I'd say that's my favorite place in Rwanda. It's very mountainous and hilly, green, very beautiful. You're all about the nature. Yeah. Not too much of the city. Yeah, but I like Kigali too. <laughs> no, but I really like the nature, actually the whole bunch of nature first. But what are you having? Um, I am drinking an iced mocha today from Java House. It's delicious. It's delicious. Yeah. your favorite so far? It's my favorite so far. <laughs> thank you so very much. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> After having my coffee, I headed to visit Soho Fitness. Soho Fitness is located in Kichukiro, on the left road opposite the Simba branch in Kichukiro.
My first impression of this place was the inspirational wall. It just gives you motivation. We met up with the founder, Bashir, and he explains a couple of things and also gave us a tour of the place. Welcome. Oh, thank you so Zuzu. very much. Man. How are you? <laughs> no, but yeah, you okay. can call me Zuzu. No, no, no let's so I'll call you. have actually on yeah? the interview. But anyways, can you show us around? Cool, let me show you. So yeah. where do we start? Let's start huh? with this side. Let's start here? Part. Why the whole awesome. space? Okay, so the space, as you, as you can tell, I don't know if you've been to most gyms in Rwanda. Yeah. The space is, a, is an issue. So uh, I think the, one of the main things we, we, um, we wanted to make sure is we have enough space, uh, especially for fitness classes, because as we are a fitness club, yeah. we are focusing a lot on fitness classes. We have about 17 different fitness classes. Um, so from bootcamp, boxing, uh, karate, uh, aerobics, insanity, so many, so many, so many. Uh, uh, but it's uh, like um, what we don't have in uh, in equipment. We make it up for the for the space. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we have everything, everything to do with um, fitness classes. So we have all the free weights uh, required, and we have um, we have some some cardio machine as well, and uh, the boxing equipment, and some body suspension training. Nice. Have you used one of those before? I haven't. Come, let me show you. Try. Yeah. Yeah, you definitely have to try. So, this, as many people call it, they call it TRX, but it's, uh, it's TRX is actually a brand. Uh, this is it's actually called a body suspension training. Um, so basically, it has like 101 uh, different exercises. So for your back, for your chest, for your arms, for your abs, for your legs. Uh, I don't know if you want me to give you like a yeah, yeah. Okay, this, like a short yeah, yeah, demo. Uh, maybe let's let's go on this one. So I can show you like a quick back exercise. Yeah. Um, which is basically what you. Do. So you let all your body weight fall down, and then you lift. You use this to lift yourself up. So here you work. You can, it does, it does work on your chest and also works on your back. Yeah. I'm not gonna go. Yeah. So it's like one of my favorite one is the press up. Being here already, I had to do some exercise even though I wasn't ready, even dressed for it. On these ones, you can do so many exercises. So you can do like press ups uh, for your chest, uh, you can walk, so you you can, can, you walk you on your, your legs, body. you walk on your body. The good thing about this is you, you, you're using a lot of stuff, you don't have stability. That you have on the floor good and then you're gonna lift your hips you're gonna go to your chin okay and then you're gonna you're gonna lift your chest you're gonna put your arms on the side of your ears straight arms straight arms and your chest forward okay yeah. my next stop was at narrow production it is located right next to Merez 1 in Gikondo. I met up with Benja from the group Music TBB. We cashed up a bit and he also told us about his music journey in the music industry. My name is Benjamin Azorora, full names. I'm, uh, I love music, it's my passion. Like, that's why I decided to do it as a career. So you know, so very, people, very few people do for the, their passion for career, so I'm lucky. Uh, we went, uh, how we met with TBB, TBB is like, uh, to me TBB is like family. It's not something I can say that it's a group. They're not strangers to me. The Bob is my big brother, biologically. Tino is my big brother too. Uh, and uh, we've, we've met uh, way, way before we were musicians. Everyone was a musician on their own. I was, I was a rapper. Tino was a rug muffin, an MC as usual. You know. And uh, Bob was also doing R&B, and so when we came to Narod, we were all working in Narod like six, six, seven years back, and then uh, that's when we thought like we can do something different for the music industry. And uh, we talk, everyone was like, "You guys, Benja, you rap English," and then this one we're like, "We need to bring that up. You know? People need to listen that Randis can sing English. They can, they can sing something that goes beyond." That's when we were like, we need to blend it. We need to put something that's different. There were groups, there were already groups, and we would see what those groups are doing, similar stuff. They all sing, they all rap, they all. So let's come up with something different. That's when I came up with rap. 
Tino came up with uh, his raga dance up, then Bob came up with R&B, and then he made TV. It's like bringing three different things Three different genres to together, yeah. Man. So because at, at, at the end of the day, I realized that fans, fans need something to unite them, you know. I don't, I, a fan doesn't have to be like, I'm, I, I like hip-hop, so I'm not going to go for yeah. a dance up show. Or I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go for R&B. So that's where we came in. We're like, how about if we bring these fans together and they listen? It's all music. Music is meant to bring people together. So we're like, let's do a genre that's going to bring everything together. Oh, that's, that, that's really awesome. How long have you been doing it again? Uh, officially, officially it's like five years. Officially, but then we have those two years of serious hustle right now. But we were seven years. We've been like together for seven years now. Yeah, it's, it's normal. You have to have that. You have to have that, uh, soul, you know, that hidden hustle. To go up. <laughs> if anybody knows who you are, they, they, they think you just came up, but you know you've been really struggling. Well, before. it's funny because I was there when you guys were still. Ah, wow, yeah, that's you know? that's uh, that's nice. You're yeah. a witness, at least you can say that these guys, I know these guys, and they're nothing. I'm a witness <laughs> for sure. Yeah. And are you planning, let's say not now, mm-hmm. but in the next future, to do your own? Because I know most of the uh, groups, sometimes they just grew not apart, but mm-hmm. they just feel like they want to do something different for themselves well, uh, and for some of their fans. Uh, about that, I can say, like I told you, TBB is family, so we're not. It's not, nothing can take us apart. You know, we yeah. are still family. So even if I start doing my my solo career as a hip hop artist, yeah. which is part of our program, I won't lie that uh, when we go together, everyone has the genre that he does. So we came together so that everyone can put up, you know, can lift up that part of the music they do. And uh, it's, it's going to reach a point where we, as, T- as TBB, we can still give you solo music. I can, as TBB, I can give you a song from Benja. It's going to be a hip-hop song, showing something else about me, but it's not going to put TBB behind me. Yeah. TBB is going to be part of that, part of yeah. pushing me. It's going to be part of the hope I have. Yeah. So whenever it comes around, I don't want people to think, oh, TBB is splitting people. Yeah. It's part of the music. We, we know we have a lot of music to give you in yeah. single packages and then a triple package. The producer also joined us and he told us a bit about his journey in the music industry as well as the music industry. Let's love one another. In whatever situation. Okay, so first of all, I want to know your signature name or style when you play the music. How do you know that it's you who's really uh, connected? Or you don't have? No, I usually use the Papito as my signature name. Signature name. That, that's so cool. Um, How long have you been doing production? I think it's like two, two years. Two, two years? Two, two years. How, how Professional. Is it? How, how is it so far? It's good. It's, it's good. good. Yeah. Do you have a certain style that you work with? Um, I think I can do all the style. All the style? Yeah. Really? That's, that's really cool. What inspires you? If it's your college, you know, <laughs> they don't want you to win. Uh, Who is your inspiration behind the production? Um, part of it? You know, there's a, there's a producer called Ledon. Yeah. Uh, he, he produced uh, his music uh, in the U- U.S. Yeah. Oh. I think he's my he's my role model. So before doing the production, just listen to him and stuff. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's really cool. So I want to ask one like one question. As a producer, how do you know that this person is a singer? That this person has a voice? That this person can sing? And you're like, yes, he is a singer. Because produ- producers need to have an an ear for the voice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. How do you how do you know that? Uh, uh actually, I, I think everyone who taught can sing. Yeah. yeah as as you see, yeah. <laughs> if you can if you can walk, you can dance. If you can talk, talk you, not, can, you, you can you can sing. But it's not everyone who can no. sing. No. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's the confidence in you that brings uh, you to sing. Actually, everyone sings. Every everyone sings, but depends. Yeah. On, sometimes depends on your voice. You know? 
better at stuff to do for this way. Yeah. You can see. And uh, by the way, I can see. Uh, <laughs> you can yeah. try. You can no, try. Yeah, yeah. You walk inside this door. You can try. We don't. We don't. We don't, we don't there's, there's no sign that can you see or can you not. As long as you're in here, you can see. I can see. Yeah. But I actually can see. <laughs> I need a song with these people. Yeah. We've Welcome. been planning. We're gonna do a song. Welcome. Anyways, how has it been working with TBB, Benja, Bob, and Tino? Um, you say. How has it been? So they're good. They're good. Yeah. They're good people. They're they good people. They are good singers. I think it's it's one of the best group in London. Yeah, I I kind of agree agree with you right there. Yeah. And no, I I had one question. I just put <laughs> But yeah, I'm I've always been curious. Um, do musicians do musicians write? lyrics first and then they take it to the producer to create a beat or the producer creates the beat first and then takes it to the musician for them to write the lyrics first what comes first uh, is it lyrics music or beat i think that part that part varies from the artist. Yeah, yes. so some artists some artists they, they, they write their song they come with their words and then they talk to the producer like I want to sing the song in R and B or it's Afrobeat or it's hip hop or it's but they come all, all in all you gotta come with a mindset. You have to come with a mindset. And then there are those artists that come to a producer. This the producers usually do so many beats and it's like I have this hip hop beat that uh, the best person that can give it to is this one. So he knows the best in this guy. So it's Afrobeat I'm gonna call T B B I'm gonna call another artist to come and use this track and then when that artist comes they listen to the beat and then they start to create yeah i'm in the mood girl your body is so romantic you're turning me on you're making me go bombastic my eyes are gonna follow you cause you're fantastic she's elastic attractive like a magnet i'm on fire girl you're taking me higher i desire every part of the around you you got me running all around town looking for a dress to fit your mm -hmm. Now with all the movements done, I have to admit, I am hungry. So my next stop will be Quiet Haven. Hello, welcome to Quiet Haven Hotel. Yeah, maybe. Quiet Haven Hotel is located two minutes away from MTN Center in Nyarutarama. I was given a tour around the hotel. But later after, I had to meet the men behind the hard work. Thank you for having us. Thank you very much. You are most welcome in Quiet Heaven Hotel. Tell me, what is yeah. the name? Quiet Heaven. Why did you choose Quiet Heaven? Uh, and what does Quiet Heaven mean? Yes. Thank you. Um, Quiet Heaven Hotel. Uh, we have chosen this name because uh, this, uh, this place, first of all, it's so quiet and uh, there's no noise. Uh, normally, many people like this place. Because it's so quiet if you want to do your business in a quiet place, this is the place to choose. This one year and, and uh, eight months, it was a long journey for, for us because we have, we have faced with different people and also what we like, uh, the business is going for the way we want. Uh, we try our best to take care of our guests and try to uh, to make our guests to, to feel at home. Yeah. So that's why now we are uh, one of among one of the hotel which is which is good one. So. Okay. First of all, it's how we take care of our guests. Uh, it's uh, it's. The major thing we, which we do in our in a hotel, when the guest comes in our hotel, feel at home. Yes. We, may, we may enjoy our product for everything. So. Yeah. Quiet Haven, just like its name, it is located in a nice environment as well as a quiet one. It has a beautiful view of the sunset as well as of the convention center and of the Kigali city town. Later after, I had a seat with the chef and we also shared dinner together made by herself. 
de chef, chefin, la kitchen. Rio tu je kuriya, ni rosete shot. Hari chicken, angles, hari fish and lemon sauce, hari beef marriage. Nabikoze ni imyaka nk'itanu nakoze la Paris mora Sinai Street mora na Quai Tevin ni Johan ni korabute inaji sauce ya lemon lemon ni ni bata shira ku ipanu gafata amazi atetse yakazuyaze gashira muri ya bata na magi na lemon ugashira mu yafi yawe wa marimye kuwanzu kwiteka mu mabu kabera hinje nda kubatekera chicken curry eh na rice barabikunda eh barabikunda